To perform viscosupplementation, as for any injections, three routes are available that will be clinically recognized. Here is the kneecap, the patella. And here is the medial femorotibial spacing. The injection routes are the lateropatellar routes, where the needle will slide under the patella either at the superior lateral angle or really under the kneecap. This route is the most reliable and the simplest, and allows an easy synovial fluid collection. The second route is similar, but with a medial approach. Here the needle should be positioned a bit more vertically because of the trochlea angle and slid under the patella. Here again, this route allows collecting synovial fluid. If this route is difficult because of the patient's obesity, because of the presence of a large osteophyte which prevents underpatellar access, then the anterior route can be used. Here is the patellar tendon, and the needle is placed in the articular spacing, but this route is less reliable and should not be chosen per default in case of viscosupplementation. The movement must be swift. The needle is positioned and promptly pushed in. It is in the joint. The second phase will be the aspiration of eventual synovial fluid. The needle is slowly withdrawn and the medial part is pressed at the same time. A few milliliters of fluid can be removed, confirming the intraarticular operation. The viscosupplement syringe is screwed onto the needle and the injection is completed very slowly while ensuring the absence of pain. In the case of pain, it means that the needle moved out of the intraarticular cavity. The needle can now be completely withdrawn, the patella mobilized, and small flexion and extension movements are done to help the gel diffuse into the joint. Finally, the operating field must be cleaned, and a sticking plaster will protect the aspiration zone.